Well, hello again, reading fans. It is September 5th today. It is Labor Day. I am in my RV and I am somewhere between Regina and Brandon, Manitoba. I am uh, on the side of the road at a Bible camp where the RV has blown a tire and we're waiting for our pickup from BCAA. So while that was going on, I thought I might as well do an update. So I finished Brown Girl in the Ring. This was an awesome book. This was a really good book. I really love this book. Um, okay, so basically uh, the plot is there's a girl named Tijon. She just had a baby. She has just left the father of her baby who is into drugs and running with the local crime syndicate and because he is not good for her or the baby. She has moved back in with her grandmother who is a priestess in an Afro-diasporic tradition, which is not specified, but it looks to me like Caribbean voodoo. It takes place in a dystopian Toronto of probably the not too far future, in which the inner city has sort of suffered an, an economic collapse and there were a bunch of riots, so people moved out into the suburbs and barricaded off the inner city, leaving the people who were too poor or too stubborn to move to fend for themselves. And since there is no infrastructure support, people have gone back to things like farming, some of the local parks, working in barter, stuff like that. So I was going to read this for my Apocalypse Now challenge, but it doesn't qualify. <clears throat> it's a dystopia. It's not an apocalypse. As far as I can tell, it's just Toronto and maybe some other urban centers that have gone to hell. The rest of the world is doing just fine. So can't do it for that one. But it still qualifies for the Women of Genre Fiction Challenge because I've only ever read some short stories by Nayla Hopkinson, so she's new to me. And it qualifies for the LGBTQ Speculative Fiction Challenge and 12 awards in 12 months because it won the Aurora Award, which is the Canadian Science Fiction Fantasy Award. So, okay, back to the plot of the book. The local, the Ontario Premier, for you Americans, that's like the state governor, is having major heart failure and she needs a heart transplant because it's difficult to get human hearts in this uh, dystopian future scenario. They, the hospital that she's at has made a shady deal with the local crime syndicate to get her a heart and the crime syndicate boss whose name is Rudy has asked the father of Tijan's baby, his name is Tony, to do this for them. Well, more like, you know, blackmail them with, you know, threat of imminent death because he used to be a nurse before he was fired from the hospital for using drugs. So that's, I mean, so far it sounds like, you know, a bad art film or something, right? Very gritty stuff going on. But that's where the Caribbean voodoo comes in. And it's pretty awesome in that it's sort of a magical realism scenario. The voodoo's real. I know just enough about it to recognize the various rituals, the spirits, to know who they're calling on. If you want to get an idea of how a ritual is supposed to work, this is actually very clear. What's neat about the magic is that you can't quite tell for most of the book whether or not it's actually happening in the spirit world or if it's all going on in the heads of the people involved and that's cool. Excellent book. It read very quickly, the description was awesome, the characters were deep, there's a, a, a sort of an exploration of what does family actually mean, that's kind of the overarching theme of the whole plot. A absolutely excellent, so highly recommended. Definitely read it if you're at all into fantasy or, you know, just want a good read. 
So I've gotten about that far into People of the River <coughs> and there's a lot to recommend it so far, but I'll save that review until I'm done. I am still also working my way through, I'm about halfway through the secret history of the Mongol Queens. Am I going to be able to finish all this in four days and read one more novel besides the point? Who knows? We might end up camping or, you know, staying in a hotel tonight because it's Labor Day and I don't know if we can get the tire fixed, so we'll see. So then, my bingo card. This will be Brown Girl in the Ring will be suited for by a Canadian author and set in a place I have visited. I got another bingo. And that's it for now. So I don't know when I'm going to get this uploaded. Probably it's going to be at least a couple of days, but hang in there because I've got at least two more videos to upload before I'm finished. So see you later. Bye.